Hey, it's Agnes from the Hidden Levels here with a 100% achievement guide and walkthrough for Enigmatis, the Ghosts of Maple Creek. Before I begin this walkthrough, I want to mention that <coughs> uh, I actually picked normal in this game playthrough, but I um, it's totally up to you uh, how you do this. I decided to play normal first, get all the achievements. And then uh, pl just leave the expert difficulty as the last play. Um, you can start off on expert and try to get all the uh, achievements in one go. But um, it's totally up to you. The game takes about two and a half hours, three hours to um, to one playthrough. So. Um, but if you p decide to play through normal f normal first, you can use hints on the expert difficulty without, you know, having to worry about you know, uh, getting penalized because there is an achievement for finishing the entire uh, games, uh, hidden object puzzles and uh, mini games without using any hints or skips. But um, on the expert difficulty, mm, you do get a little bit of a penalty if you make a mistake during a hidden object scene so that, m that makes things a little bit more difficult but it's still doable it's totally up to you how you do this but just remember that my playthrough is a normal so if you do decide to start on the expert mode there, are sh there is a slight difference because uh, instead of trying to find everything uh, the legit way I just skim through and uh, spam the A button to find stuff on the hidden object scene except for the first couple where um, I cannot make any mistakes or the um, so there is an achievement for getting a flawless which is to make uh, less than four errors in a hidden object scene in order to get that, um, I take my time, but other than that, I just breeze through these things. So, And the minigame, there is a really short minigame, so uh, under a minute minigame is just... I'll mention it when I get there, but it's pretty much just a given. It's like a give. It's it's just given to you. There's no way you can take more than a minute in that minigame. Alright, um, so... I'm just following the tutorial. So just doing what it tells you. Um, press A to get rid of all that stuff. And get pick up the pick up that things. Basically, you are a uh, you are a um, in the town of uh, I forgot the name of the town. Whatever <laughs> you are in some town, and you forgot. You forgot what what you're doing there. You kind of lost your memory, and you're trying to piece back the uh, evidence and uh, get back to what you've been doing and uh, trying to solve the mystery. So, uh, I did miss something here. This is the first hidden object scene. Uh, after the scene, I'll tell you about it. So basically, it tells you that it's there. It asks me to use a hint and it won't let me go on, so I decided to skip the tutorial. Uh, as I said, there is an achievement for not using any hints in all of the hidden object scenes, so you have to skip the tutorial, otherwise, you'll have to use it. You'll be forced to use a hint, and uh, the achievement becomes un unachievable. <laughs> uh, pardon the pun. So, yeah, it, it takes me a while to figure that out. I decided to skip it. And then now I'm trying to find the stuff. I already made like six, seven mistakes already. So I don't even try to go for the under four mistakes here. I just pretty much click everywhere trying to find stuff. Um, what I was about to say right before the scene started is that I did miss a evidence on the street here which is the help me so 
sign uh, and that prevent me, me from uh, going t on to the next part of the game for a little bit uh, so please do feel free to pick that up now if you don't want to have to backtrack it's not much of a you no know, it's not a big backtrack but it is still a backtrack so Uh, and uh, I forgot to mention that the objects found in the hidden object scene are random so it changes um, every time you play I mean the picture the scene itself is not random it's always the same and the items in the scene are the same but the items that you have to find changes so you can't always memorize these things So. After beating that uh, hidden object scene, you get a uh, emblem for that. And then I go forward. Uh, going, down, you see some people, ghosts, wherever that is. Open the glove compartment. Get a get another evidence. Pick up the access card. This is a very traditional adventure game with the hidden object puzzles mixed in. So the items that you find here, you're gonna use later. Another hidden object seen coming up very soon. I believe this is where I went for the find three objects in under three seconds. So if obviously what you're gonna want to do is find three like that you're sure of and fairly close together and then just find them you know, very close to each other and just look for the three that uh, you know, you, you're know you sure is the right answer and then just click on it very very quickly it, sh it should not be very hard to get and if you do decide to follow my uh, way of getting the thousand in the game and uh, play the normal uh, you you're not penalized for mistakes so if you just kind of go left right and pan and just keep pressing a you'll probably get the under a minute and the um, three and three in without even trying if you do go for the expert it might be a little bit more difficult and you may have to start a new game on normal to get uh, those two achievements so now I'm gonna try and finish this puzzle without making too much mistakes So the game doesn't break down the chapters, but I've decided to record uh, this walkthrough in eight parts based on the uh, chapter breakdown found in the walkthrough on the official website. So um, this is basically chapter one. Uh, it's pretty lengthy because um, I was just getting used to the controls in the game and how the hidden object scenes and mini games play. Uh, the other parts, so chapters 2 through 7, are a little bit shorter, maybe 15 to 20 minutes long. But And then the final bonus, bonus chapter is just one chapter uh, length. But that video is uh, once again about 35 minutes long. Uh, just giving you an idea of how long the game is. So if you add up all the times, it's about two and a half hours plus the bonus chapter. So three hours. So even on a first playthrough, it's not that difficult. It doesn't take too long. So mm, there's <laughs> really not much to say because as I said, hidden object scenes are random and the objects that appear are you know you have to find them basically and I can't really tell you where they are because they they change on every playthrough so uh, 
by finishing that you get the bolt cutter item now go right uh, go across that bridge and you see that man talk to him he just ran away all right pick up that plank we're gonna be using that in a little bit uh, check out these brochures I don't know if they mean anything but uh, they are clue to um, something that you're gonna be looking for from the watchtower later on the, it does tell you to look at it by uh, shimmering a little bit uh, but uh, the character doesn't like comment on it and I, we don't pick this up or write write it into the evidence book or the diary at all so I'm not really sure if this part is required but um, I just did it anyway back out a couple times one more time and once again I missed that help me thing it's it's even glowing I totally missed it so go into this area now uh, check out that dresser on top of that dresser pick up the picture pick up the receiver no phone line is dead try to go down to the basement and turn the light on uh, it fizzes out go back up nothing you can do until you get that light fixed go upstairs as I said um, I'm just getting used to the control so I do backtrack a bit I do make some mistakes I do some stuff that you know, that you know I just do because I have no idea what I'm doing basically So put the plank down there and then um, click the door that's farther away. Use the key in the hole. Use open the handle. This is your room. So now check out that uh, on top of the cabinet the guy some guy takes that away I decided not to cut out the uh, like those shortcut scenes so in actuality if you're playing this if you decide to do two playthroughs and um, if you go for the uh, the achievement in uh by doing normal first and then expert you'll probably get through expert a lot quicker because you know what you have to do and you'll probably be skipping all the cutscenes so use the light bulb to fix it and we'll check out the evidence board this is where you begin like your Sherlock Holmes kind of deal and you start to piece together the evidence to uh, try and progress the story put the those evidence that I'm pr placing I am missing the help me evidence I'm supposed to have five here rather than four uh, if you did pick up the help me it goes into that uh, top spot where the case subject is so 
Yeah, I don't I'm I don't know how to do this just yet, so I'm struggling slightly and checking out doing stuff. Anyway, pretty soon I should be backing out. There we go. And then uh hidden object scene is now active, you can see by the glimmer. So we'll do this now. I think this is where I went for the um complete it without making more than four mistakes so you can see that I'm being very careful only clicking on the ones that I think is the right one making less than four mistakes is very simple if you're not going for the using no hints uh, just start a game on normal and use the hints as much as you want and um, wait 30 seconds use another hint um, and just keep doing that and then just start the game new so it's totally up to you I mean <laughs> there's many different ways to play this and all the achievements are very simple and a lot of them will come just by playing regularly so yeah I just need two more so I'm looking for them That thing is glowing, so there's something in there too. The preview window on my uh, video editing software is a little too small, so I can't really read what's the last item that I gotta find. I'm pretty sure it's in that drawer that uh, is closed right now. Maybe not. I'm not. Sh I'm not really sure. Anyway, so far I haven't made any mistake. I'm just trying to find that last one. Once I do find it. Um, I should get the achievement for uh, finishing a hidden object puzzle without making more than four mistakes. Hmm, it's getting pretty boring to watch. It's, I'm not even mo moving my cursor around. Uh, I think I was glued to the uh, television set uh, trying to find this last item, scanning the entire room. You know how sometimes it's like glaring right at you but you can't find it? I think that's what happened to me here. Finally I find it, I believe, or maybe not. It wasn't in that drawer. So, hmm. I guess this is where I spent most of my time <laughs> in chapter on video.
there we go finally found the last item and I you know I, as I said I just got the achievement so uh, that gave me a bent clip paper clip so now we can we are gonna check out the computer I don't this is also the same as the brochure uh, I don't think it matters whether you check out this uh, computer and what's on it uh, but it's something that's clickable so I decided to check it out so there's three tabs open and the fourth tab is a different game from the same company uh, but <laughs> you're playing this game so you the sh the main character says I don't have time for that game and you can't really do anything um, other than just check out those three tabs here use the paper clip on that power button to pop it out and then push it That powers it on. Um, put the access card that you picked up from your car, and you're good with the security measure. Uh, I'm not hundred percent sure if this puzzle changes, but the way you solve this puzzle is um, the numbers on the left and the top tell you how many of the um, blocks should be filled in. So, like, I have five blank spaces. If this is five it's you know all five are should be filled in so uh, best to start with where it says five five uh, so you can fill in the entire length uh, where it says like one three that means one and a blank and three so that fills up the five spots so that's another good place to start so basically like s if you see seven that means either the first or the last square is uh, should be out because this is eight by eight board and once you do f get the right one in it fills it changes color so you can be sure that you got it right so by doing the uh, get doing the guesswork of the uh, six, uh, I'm getting some of the other portions correct, just by default. So there you go, done. Very simple puzzle. That is a ten by ten, so you might want to start with the tens first. I do believe these puzzles change uh, randomly, but there's only like six or seven of them. So if you do want to, if you play multi multiple times, you'll start to memorize them. But for now, uh, I'm telling you how to solve the puzzle. So uh, because you probably won't be playing this more than like two times may max on once a normal and once an expert maybe even just once so just filling in the tens filled in the, uh, the uh, all the on the left and all the on the top and uh, on, on on the right as well so basically the two, two to two one that uh, two is already filled in the first and the last is not something that you want to fill in so it's solved for you basically you can see the sh you can see the uh, shape starting to take place it's actually uh, the, sp the spade so if you actually if you do see the shape that you want to fill in you can kind of guessed as well so that gives that open that case up and now we got a bunch of our uh, new evidence so just pick up what I pick up here just pick up everything
Okay, back out and um, go back to where the flare gun was because you just picked up a flare. Put load up, load the flare gun with the flare that you just picked up, and pick up the gun. We're gonna be using this very shortly. And on the evidence board, we have one more new evidence, so put that on there. Technically, if I had to help me, this actually opens up a new case, which is Hamilton's case, but um, I missed it. This is where I'm struggling because I don't know what, where I missed this. So I'll, I believe I waste like a minute or so here again. So if you already had the uh, help me uh, and fill this in, you can probably skip about a minute, maybe two and um, then we'll get back to the walkthrough and yeah, you don't have to do this because I thought I just missed something because it just wasn't progressing so I believe I've j so I'm just looking at other stuff uh, to see if the help me should have come from those other things Sorry about this. I don't want to edit anything out because um, I do want to show me getting the help me and figuring this out. And uh, by editing this out, it can it might cause more confusion than uh, is needed. And it's only like two three minutes uh, that I'm uh, struggling here. I think I do figure it out very soon. I promise you that uh, part two through seven and the bonus chapter do go by a lot quicker and a lot speedier. Mm. Yeah, I think I did just figure out that I missed that. No, I actually backed out in my enthusiasm. I backed out too much, so I'm gonna go back to uh, go back forward. This is where we begin the game. So we'll get the help me here. There we go. And now I should be either running back or pressing right on the D pad uh, to complete it. Yeah, you don't, you can't actually access the evidence at any time. They're like that. So that completes it. And, uh, and now I can move on to the next part of the game. Yep. You don't you don't have to come back here. There's nothing uh, we can do with the evidence wall right now. If you are ever stuck, you can use hints in the main game. Uh, there is no achievement related to not using hints in the main game, just not uh, during mini games or uh, during the um, uh, the regular uh, the hidden object puzzles. You, uh, we need a hatchet. It's 
like I said, I was I was getting used to the game, and I just make a lot of mistakes and a lot of um just walking around doing my thing. And very soon I'll figure out where I need to go. Yeah, give me like five more seconds. There we go. Yep. Yeah, walk up. There's this man. He falls down. So we check him out. So I remember. Yeah, this is a big component in the game. You remember you have um flashbacks. So pick up that thing on the on the left. Nothing more to do with the guy here. Go forward to where the car is. Use the flare gun on that door. To scare him away. And then go towards that area. We'll be visiting this area quite often uh, with the big tree. So just kind of remember it as. Um, that uh, uh this this is the mini game that i was talking about coming up very soon this mini game has three parts each part count as one mini game uh, the first part is basically um replacing the two heads uh, so left head goes to the right right head goes to the left that's all so uh it, it should not take you more than a minute and so by default you'll be getting the um finish a mini game in under a minute because of that so what you need to do is uh, fill that part in now you gotta switch the left head with the right head to to make it the correct heads because wearing the wrong head you, you can see i make I don't know what to do at first, so I take a little bit of time, and even then I get the achievement. So if you know what you're doing, you should get the achievement very easily. So that opens up. Put that in that slot, and what I start to do from here is, if you don't understand, is uh, since if you if I get the right answer, it locks in. So instead of looking for the right head by looking at the pictures, I just decide to. I'll double click on each of them and it locks in once it locks that's it you go move on to the next uh next head and that's all uh once the puzzle is solved and the chapel door is open the chapter ends so um yeah finish this part of the puzzle and then the next part is the um you have a uh, another head icon that you can use for the next on one on the left side. So solve that puzzle and the chapel doors will open and we'll finally be able to enter the chap chapel and move on with the story and that begins chapter two. So there you go. We'll, we'll use that final item that we have. And uh, just switch the heads around until you get the this solved. And that's that. So, uh, well, I'm going to say my goodbyes here because the chapter is going to end very shortly. Um, this has been uh, chapter one of Enigmatis for Xbox One. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. My name is Sangrius from The Hidden Levels. We've got a Twitch stream. We've got a YouTube channel. We've got a website. So please come check us out. And I'll be back with part two of this walkthrough very soon.